Today we are doing Zelda Breath of the Wild Maka Ra Shrine in the Hebrew region. What's up YouTube? I'm Kat from KK Jinx Gaming. Gaming for fun. Today I'm going to show you how to complete this shrine. Watch the end to get all of the chests. This shrine is located in the centermost area of Lake Kilsey hidden in the side of a cliff near a wooden pier. You can get here quickly from the Shaw Warvo Shrine or anywhere near Rito Village really and just glide on down until you see the wooden piers. And you can see the shrine through the crack in the wall, but you can't access it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to blow up these bombable rocks here. And that creates a wind tunnel for us. This is wind tunnel number one. If we look over here, it's hard to see, but there are some more bombable rocks. So let's grab this wind tunnel and glide right on over there. As we get closer, you can come up to this cliffside over on the right and use remote bombs, but I've got plenty of bomb arrows, so I'm just going to shoot these open with bomb arrows. There we go. And then just climb on up there, grab that wind tunnel, and that allows you to see the next one. So I'm going to get closer to it, and I'm going to shoot it with bomb arrows again. And there we go, and that is the last wind tunnel, and going up here you can see the torches and the opening in the cliffside. So go right on over there. Hop up in there, and now you can see a bunch of wind coming up, so getting down there might seem a little bit scary, but there's water down here, so I just like to jump down and let myself land. And then just keep following the torches. Once we get over here, we're going to have to swim just a little bit. It's a little crack area in there, but as you can see, there's more torches up here. And just keep following the torches. And once you come out of the water, coming around, you will be encountered by some ice choo-choos. Just remote bond them and make your way over to the Makara Shrine. Let's go right inside. And this shrine's puzzle is called Steady Thy Heart. And moving straight forward, we see a locked gate. And to your right, there is a lit lantern that you can use, but I'm just using a fire arrow to light that. And that opens up the gate, but you can light it however you want. And now we've got this spinning cog thing. I find it easier to move around on here if you're crouched, but I always get impatient. But you just want to keep crouching around on it and following it until you find an opening that will lead you to the other side because we need to press down on that floor switch over there. And it is tedious and it kind of takes forever, but eventually it will take you where you need to go. Here we go, almost there, almost. Oh, and there we go. Luckily, we don't have to go back the other way, but this door opening immediately, there is a bunch of small guardians. I like to shoot a shock arrow right into the water. Two birds, one stone. And then grab that guy with a regular arrow and that guy with a regular arrow. And in this part, we're going to use mostly Cryonis. So I am going to first come over here and collect my guardian parts. Then I want to activate my Cryonis. If you push down on the D-pad, it puts it right underneath you. But I'm going to use that to lift me up to go up to my chest and open it up to reveal a dun 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 bomb arrows times 10. Noise. All right. So let's come right over here. I'm going to collect the rest of my guardian parts. And we are going to make another cryonis pillar. And we are going to come right up to this floor switch here. Press that button. Boom. And as you see right away, we have another locked gate with another floor switch. But I am going to warn you right now, see all those crates? There is something on the other side, a big metal ball. Yeah, just stay to the left and just stay out of the way. You can try to catch it, but it's gonna get you. But we just wanna come right up this ramp and don't go too far, cause you can see we've got some bombable rocks up here and you can just use your remote bombs or you can use bomb arrows, whichever you like, but then use your magnesis and go ahead and grab that chest and place it on flat ground. and open it up to reveal a dun 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 diamond. Stuff that in your pocket and come right over here and you can see that there is yet another chest. So use your magnesis, grab that, pull it towards you. Open it up to reveal a dun 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 ancient core. Stuff that in your pocket and let's go hit this floor switch. This one is gonna send another spike ball at you. Grab it with your magnesis. 
and then just move it around the corner of this wall. You can see there's kind of like a little roof there. That's gonna hold that there because otherwise if you just throw it in the lava, they're gonna keep coming down at you. But if you leave it right there, you can make it all the way up this really long ramp with absolutely no issues. You can see the gate closed, so you're totally safe now. Yay. So let's go ahead and check our map and yep, we've got all the chests. So all that's left to do is talk to the monk and that's it boys and girls, you're all done. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and be sure to punch that bell straight in the face so you don't miss any content released. This is KK Jinx, over and out.